Hi everyone, it's Amy, and um, like everybody, I'm really gearing up for the holiday season, and I've started my holiday crafting. And one of the first items I've made for the holidays is this um, altered wine box, um, and I picked this wine box up at my local AC Moore. It was in the unfinished wood section, and I thought it was really cute, and I wanted to alter it for a holiday hostess gift. And um, to finish the box, I did a crackle finish. And I first painted it with the Barnyard Red Folk Art Paint. And this is a really pretty color for a vintage red um, project. And then I applied the crackle medium and um, then put on the Folk Art Vintage White over that after it dried and everything. And so let me show you the crackle finish. And you know what? This is, um, because it's such a tall project, it's kind of hard to, to film. So bear with me here. It's more challenging to film. And so that's how the, the crackling came out. It's really pretty. And let's see. And then basically this is the cover of the um, uh, wine bottle box. And what I did was I glued my decorative elements to the side here. Um, you know, but they couldn't really obstruct the box because it opens like, you know, like this. So you need to be able to, you know, you need clearance to get that to move up and down so you can get your bottle of wine or champagne or, um, you know, sparkling cider is good too in the gift box. Um, on the cover here I have a die cut from the My Mind's Eye paper collection. Um, really cute. And I have an R21 rose from I Am Roses. They're just beautiful. And then I accented that with a tattered pine cone. And I have to say I love the Tim Holtz tattered pine cone die. I've just... It's so fun to make pine cones. I'm like obsessed and I'm going nuts and making pine cones all the time. They're really cute. And then um, down here to decorate the box, I used um, this beautiful red, big red gardenia from I Am Roses. It's just, it's just spectacular. I love these. And let me show you what they look like. Um, they're the um, special ones. And they're just really, really beautiful. So I love working with those. And um, then I also have um, this spray from I Am Roses. Really pretty. And in the background here, poking out here, I have my Nutcracker. He's a custom die that I designed with AccuCut. He's just really cute. And um, yeah, let's see what else. Um, oh, I have these like berries that I got from off of a spray from Michaels. And I have the um, poking out back here, I have the um, holly leaves from I Am Roses. They're really pretty. Let me show you those. And I misted those with my Olive Vine Glimmer Mist to give them more of a vintage color. And they came out really pretty. And they're the B331s. So that's what they look like. And let's see, what else do I have going on? Oh, I just have some branch cutouts. That's the branch on the tattered pine cone die. And here's another tattered pine cone little branch sticking out over here too. Oh, and then finally over here I have this little cute little butterfly I made with one of the crocheted flowers from my Amoroses. Let me show you him. I mean, basically these are the little, you know, five petal crochet pat flower. Whoops! I dropped them. Um, these are the little five petal crochet flowers you can get at I Am Roses. And I just take one of the petals and I bend it back like that. And, um, you know, and then I kind of hot glue it back here, that petal, and, you know, mess with it a little bit, and it looks like a little butterfly, which is really cute, and it's easy, and I don't have to crochet it. And then I just use some of the pearl sprays for antenna. Really cute. Okay, so that's the cover, and then on, I also decorated um, the sides of the box. So, over here, I just have this really pretty crocheted lace that I got from Etsy. Um... Then I have a border that I punched out with my Martha Stewart fan punch. And it's really pretty. I love that punch. And then just faintly in the background, I stamped it with my um, one of my Le Blanche stamps. This one, I forget the name of it, but it looks like, like a music sheet. Really pretty stamps. So yeah, so that's that. And I, yeah, and I stamped it with like some walnut distress ink, um, just faintly. And then this is just another die cut from the paper collection that I edged with some vintage photo. Really pretty. And then over here, this is, um, I um, fussy cut out this border from Graphic 45. 
It's really cute. And then I have some more crochet lace here that I got from Joann's. This is some black um, polka dot trim that I got off of Etsy. It's super cute. I really like it a lot. Really cute trim. And then I have another one of the holly leaves from Iron Roses. Uh, a white gardenia from Iron Roses. And I glimmer misted it with pearl. And another red R21 also glimmer misted with pearl. And some more holly berries. And then over here I have a little bloomer with a bow, a ribbon bow, and that's from my arts. And yeah, and then over here I just kind of curled the edge and I have a Santa Claus that I popped up. I fussy cut them out of the graphic 45 paper and then I popped them up. So that's, yeah, that's the one side of my box. And then on the other side, I have, um, you know, I have this bow um, from Red Seam Binding, really cute. And then I made a gift tag here. Um, just uh, some more My Mind's Eye Lost and Found paper. And this is a uh, die cut, you know, I cut this out from the Graphic 45 uh, Christmas paper. Um, I have two of these, uh, like, scrapbooking poinsettias for my roses. And that's what these are. And, uh, let me see. And, yeah, and then just a little red pearl. I layer two of them. So really cute. And then over here, I ha you can see the um, border punch and the lace. And these are just two die cuts um, from the Lost and Found Paper Collection. And this is a die cut from there as well. It says Christmas Wishes. It's a banner. And another um, I Am Rose Mini Rose. And then down here I have um, a Puffy Daisy with an R21 in the middle. And I sprayed the Puffy Daisy with some um, um, Lindy's. It's the Desert Moon Gold. I think it's called the Desert Moon Cactus Gold. And then I just have two of these um, pretty sparkly holly leaves that I got from a spray of Michaels. And yeah, and those, so those are the two left and right sides of my box. And then on the back here, I have a little My Arts envelope. And in the envelope, uh, well, first, and then I stamp the envelope with um, uh, this little ornament stamp from the My Minds I Lost and Found stamp set. Really cute. like it a lot. And then the little envelope is functional because in the back, um, you know, tucked away in here, I have um, some little wine glass charms that I made, and this is these are really quick and simple. Um, and they needed to be small and flat for the pocket, so basically I used. Um, so I created these wine charms um, using my Tim Holtz tiny tabs and tags die. I used um, this is the die, and this is the die cut I used right here, and. Um, yeah, and I used lightweight chipboard to cut it out so that the wine glass charm would be, you know, lightweight. And then I just covered it with some um, little scraps from um, the k and Company Yuletide paper collection. And then to make the um, wine charms, uh, you know, different so you can tell your glass of wine, I used um, different colored um, Lindy spray spray uh, Lindy sprays to color the poinsettias. So this one's like golden lump of coal and then I have like the little saw crafters pearl in the center and this one's like a, a green Lindy spray. Really pretty. And um, this one is a red spray. It's cute. And then um, just you know for the uh, clasp I just use a um, earring finding from Michaels and really I just this was really fast and easy and it's a great project for scraps and I just used stuff that I had in my stash to create them you know really quickly and here's what um, you know cute quick simple and um, this is what it looks like um, decorating the well, I have a martini glass here but yeah you know really festive and cute so yeah so that's my um you know my altered wine box and um, I hope you like it, and um, I hope you have a happy holiday season. Thanks, everybody. Oh, and if you have any questions, just send me a message or leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much. Bye.